And so you have groups that are streaming online, that um, there are certain leaders that may even have hundreds of thousands of followers online. Um, there's a woman by the name of Teal Swan, who's quite popular. She's been called a cult leader. Uh, she would say, I'm not, I'm just uh, holding forth online. And she has hundreds of thousands of people who follow her online. And these people become very wealthy. And then they extract some people from their online following to become their inner circle or community. Teal Swan has that. Uh, uh, Dr. Phil and I at one point exposed a woman by the name of Amy Carlson. And she headed a group called Love Has Won. And you may have read about her. She probably had no more than 30 or 40 followers, but at the time of her death, she had a half a million in cash, about a million in real estate paid for, and people were vying for who's going to control the assets of this group. And they couldn't accept Amy Carlson's death. They called her Mother God. So they took the body and they decorated it with glitter and lights, oh, no. and they basically worshipped it until the authorities knocked down the door and and arrested people for essentially violating a dead body. Wow. Okay, so I've got a few questions then. Um, what's the average type of person that ends up in a cult? Is there an overlap there? There is a kind of narrative thread that you could pull through a lot of people, but it could be anybody. They could okay. be any race, any socioeconomic level. They could be rich. They could be poor. They could be young. They could be old. They could be highly educated or uneducated. Uh, but what I've seen, if I were going to pull a consistent thread through many of the cases that I've dealt with, it would be somebody who's not happy at a particular point in their life. And they're feeling like, I'm just really unhappy with my life. I'm depressed. And at that point, they have the bad luck that someone they know could be a family member, friend, coworker. They approach them and say, hey, you want to come to this meeting? You want to um, go play volleyball with these friends of mine? I mean, it could be very innocuous. It, it could seem very innocent because the group is not going to tell you what their agenda is or disclose mm -hmm. anything that might put you off. So a lot of it's about deceptive recruitment and just flat out lying. Uh, some of these groups have multiple names. You don't even know who you're being recruited by. You find out later, oh, it's that cult that I read about, but now they're using a new front organizational name that I didn't know about. So many of the people that I work with are just amazing people, really smart. Um, for example, not long ago, I was working with a young woman who had recently graduated with honors from Harvard University. Uh, I also work with a young man who was attending Penn, the University of Pennsylvania in Philadelphia, on full scholarship, graduated from his class as a valedictorian, went on to MIT, and is now a, a civil engineer. But at one point, he was lured into a cult on the campus of Penn. A lot of these groups do recruit on college campuses because I'd say their main target group is 18 to 26. But five of the people that I have worked with are, medic were, are medical doctors. I, I help to deprogram and bring out of a cult an orthopedic surgeon, an anesthesiologist, a gastrointestinal specialist. These people were not dumb. They weren't illiterate. Yeah. They were sophisticated, well-educated people. So I think if we think that we're not vulnerable, we're not we're not really being honest with ourselves. Anyone can be had given the right set of circumstances and timing. And, and that's why I think it's so important to be aware that these groups exist so that you know what to look for and you can be prepared. And if the group approaches you, you can say, hey, you know what? You seem kind of weird. You seem like some kind of cult group. And you, you do your due diligence and you drill down and find out more and you realize, hey, this is a cult.